Welcome to the Hot Box. Episode 2. The Saga of Snake. Or whatever it is I'm calling it. Why the Hot Box? My air conditioner crapped out. Last week. Friday evening before Memorial Day weekend. Isn't that nice? So I'm sweltering in my own home. But we're going to drive ahead anyway. Yes, I'm doing something about it. I've had a couple of contractors out. I'm waiting on estimates right now. It's going to be a lot no matter what. So until then... I suffer. But we are going to press on. I got to clarify a little something too. Last, uh, last episode, the other episode, I think I said something like it takes 10 skill level increases to get a character level increase. If I did say that, you know, you should go to Wind that was a, uh, free Skyrim. that was kind you of an oblivion flashback the because their skill increases are will know what the coming of the done differently. It's so, the reality is, for a character level increase, it, it requires a certain number of skill increases. And that amount is always getting higher. The more you level up, the harder it is to level up, in other words. Because it takes more skills, skill level increases to get a character level up. You level up very quickly in the beginning. Both skills... See that ruin up there? Bleak Falls Barrow. I never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that place. Oh, really? Come on. I guess you get used to it. Uh, yes, it's... Early on in the game, you level up skills very quickly. You level up your character very quickly. But as you increase your skills, it takes a little more use to get to your next skill level increase. All right, man, what the heck are these? These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the 13 ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead, see for yourself. Okay. So these are birth stones. And what's different in Skyrim is that you can change these out whenever you want, as often as you want. You can go back and forth, and I think in Oblivion, you pick one, and that's the one you, you're stuck with for the whole game. In some ways, I kind of wish they did that. I, I mean, I like being able to swap them out because they, they have nice buffs. But, uh, you know, it, it takes a little something away from creating the character that you want and saying, well, of all this, the uh, burst stones, which one is going to help me the most based on the type of play style I want? So, yeah. This just makes it easier. I think they kind of made the game a lot easier overall. But we're going to start with this one because there are some skills we need to improve. And the uh... thief, eh? Yep. It's never too late to take charge of your own faith, you know. What does that mean, boy? Oh, he's just—he's just being rail off. So I fixed the clock. You can see the widget is gun. If I hit, it's yeah. <laughs> the widget is gun. Oh, way to go, genius. It's gone. I hit F11. Time pops up there. Remember, this is And it goes away. Territory. If we're ahead of the news from Helgen, we should be fine. As long as we don't do anything stupid. <laughs> if we run into That's going to be fear, tough, man. Stupid is all I know how to do. Talking. He didn't get the memo. There's supposed to be a couple of wolves up here. Not that I've ever been down this road before. I don't know where they are. Oh well, we are going to head into town. I'm going to talk to a couple of people. We're going to get that part out of the way. I'm glad you decided to come with me. Really? We're almost to Riverwood. Oh, that's nice. A little bit of twitching when you approach Riverwood, and some of that is it's always been there. For some reason, there's something about Riverwood. But then there's that monstrosity, which just adds to it. That's another one of my mods, if you haven't seen the other videos on it. It is called Emberwood Bar. It's a player home, believe it or not. That's the one we're going to be using until I make a patch for the log cabin. Looks like nobody here knows what happened yet. Come on, I need to... Gerd is probably working in her lumber mill. What? What is it now, Mother? I am. It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It flew right over the barrel. Hello, Brother Elf. Oh, nothing to say. 
I, did I did did I just get stink eye there? I think I did. Alright, we're we're gonna go through this little ritual right here. She's gonna give us the key to their house so we can get some more free stuff. Girder, I'm fine. At least now I am. Are you hurt? What's happened? And who is this? One of your comrades? Not a comrade yet. That's right. Not yet. I owe him my life, in fact. Is there somewhere we can talk? There's Why does my character seem really short? Helgen? Has something happened? Ugh, you You're ugly right. mug. Follow me. Did I actually create that? Come here a minute. I need your help with something. What is it, woman? Sven drunk on the job again? Pod, just come here. Raylo, what are you doing here? There's Sven now. I'll be right down. Uncle Raylo, can I see your axe? How many Imperials have you killed? Do you really know Ulfric's Stormcloak? Hush, Frodnar. This is no time for your games. Go and watch the South Road. Come find us if you see any Imperial soldiers coming. Aw, Mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Rayla. Look at you. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Now, Rayla. What's going on? Nice sunset. You two look pretty well done in. <sighs> I can't remember when I last slept. Ooh, where to start? Well, the news you heard about Ulfric was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Remember that. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was... Uh, two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had this lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. They did start the chopping. Cowards. They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then, out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a real, live... I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. Hell yeah. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerder, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Cool. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. We are almost over encumbered, so I'm only going to grab what I could really... Ooh, necklace of minor sure grip. Mine. Uh, some healing. We definitely need that because I get my ass kicked a lot. And, uh, you can keep the rest. There is something you could do for me. For all of us here. Oh? The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. I'm glad to help Thanks, any way sister. I can. Okay. I we could count on you. I ought to get back to work before I missed, but did anyone else escape? Did Ulfric? Don't worry. I'm sure he made it out. It'll take more than a dragon to stop Ulfric's Stormcloak. I'll let them into the house and, you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Help them drink up our mead, you mean? Heh. <laughs> Good yeah. luck, brother. I'll see you later. Don't worry about me. I know how to lay low. So there's more Can stuff. The handle those logs? They look a might big. I it can. Wouldn't want them any bigger though. And the blade? Getting dull. We'll need a new one soon. 
I'll talk to Alvar about getting us a new one. Well, there is more dialogue options. So you saw a dragon, did you? Yeah. What was it like? As big as a house? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, for some reason I can't... Oh, <laughs> I'm sitting here running. Why can't I run? I'm over-encumbered. Um, well... How over-encumbered am I? I'm right at the limit. Do I have uh, any piece of food I can... You know, how about now? There we go. Now yeah, it's over over encumbered Lucan by a. Lucan over in the Riverwood trade is says thieves broke into his store. Strange. He says they hardly took anything. Really? Well, let's go have a little chat with uh, Lucan. Here is the Riverwood trader, by the way. Awesome, great looking graphics. You know, I'm I'm really glad I I listened to uh, Nico and uh, Arizona Viking there. To get this EVLAS. I'm sure there were some others that mentioned it as well, but it is uh, very nice. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Jerry, oh. Jerry. <laughs> A customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Oh. I like drama. I want more. What's going on? Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Nice. Could you uh, use some help getting it back? You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northwest of town. So this is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Well, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. What makes you think they're up in that barrow? Oh, the lighting in here is nice. Very, very nice. Have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The yeah. Mountain just over the building. Radoff pointed it out. So yeah, I'm really happy Those with the way. Those must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. As I was trying to say that, I was very happy with the way the graphics look, and credit goes to the mod authors, not me. I just uh, selected the mods and packed them together. So, well, for most of them. I mean, I got a few of my own in here, but they're I really why they not that spectacular. Golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Really? Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. <laughs> what would those be? He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. <laughs> You've got things that are just as expensive. I'd kind of like to know what those are. You know, those clouds there, they're giving me uh, Obsidian Weathers vibes. But it this is not Obsidian Weathers. This is Mythical Ages Weathers. Alright, we're at the edge of town. Give me your last great sales pitch. This is the bridge out of town. The I path see. up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. Okay. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. A little overprotected, but that's okay. Why are you still standing here? Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. All right. Well, how much further is it? Well, it's a winding road up the mountain just ahead. You'll know you're in the right place once you spot the old watchtower. I see. Once you get to the tower, head north. Bleak Falls Barrow should be just around the corner further up. All right, then. Good luck. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. Isn't it 
interesting that she seems to know exactly where it is. Okay, well, Girder wants us to make our way over to uh, Whiterun to let the damn chickens let the Jarl know about the dragon. We are going to do that, but we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to take a little carriage ride, but first I'm going to drop off a few things in this lovely little house. I don't know. Is it, I mean, you, you can live here, but is it is it really a house? What was that noise? That's odd. Uh, that sounded like a weapon that fell off a weapon rack, but I don't have any weapons on weapon racks. I have a static one, but that should not move. Uh, let me see. I have, uh... Yeah, there's butterflies and stuff that'll fly around in here. Somehow they are able to pass through walls. Alright, let me take a quick look here, see if there's anything else I can I can unload. Why do I have a basket? Oh, I remember what that's from. <laughs> um, torch. We've got spell tomes here. Oh yeah, Dimp is... You know, I was meaning to do a mod review video uh, of this mod. It's Dimp. It's by Crimen. Um, it is, uh, it's it's a player home, but it has display cases. The main reason I got it is because it has unique display cases for things like Dragon Claws, Dragon Priest, Mass, Black Books, etc., etc. It's a very, very nice, well done mod. Uh, there's a lot more to it than just that. I mean, that's kind of the main reason I got it, but there is a lot more to it than just that. Uh, let's see. Is there anything in here I need to unload? I am going to, like I said, I'm going to go sell all this stuff, but not just yet. I don't want the tool chest. Let's head upstairs. Well, I don't know what that noise was. I heard something like a, a, a weapon falling down or something, so, ah, well. Let's see, I'm going to put a basket in the bas basket. Little piece of trivia for you. In Morrowind, they had sacks, just like to do in Skyrim. You could put stuff in them, but if you put too much in there, it would kind of explode. You could, you could actually overfill it. Now, I never filled one up that far to see what it looked like, but there's a, it's kind of a running joke about the uh, sacks exploding, and yeah, I don't know. Didn't I have some silverware on this table? It shouldn't move. It's, uh, yeah, static objects. Okay, um, we can actually head over to White Run right now. Like I said, we're going to take a little carriage ride. Alright, so. There are a few more things I want to talk about before we get into the nuts and bolts of our character and our play style and skills and exactly what we're going to be doing. Um, so. I've talked about uh, leveling up. And uh, how we level up our character by using, you know, using skills. Doing stuff. Now, there's a danger in doing that, and I call it the uh, over-level trap. That's what I call it. I mean, everybody knows it's there, but, you know, I don't know if anybody ever made a term for it. But what happens, like I was saying before, in the beginning, you can level up any skill very quickly. You can level up your character very quickly when you're first starting out. You saw in the uh, last episode, I uh, increased... Where are we at here? Oh, we have a level up available. Well, I'm not going to use that just yet. Tell you what. Uh, I probably will use that at some point in this video, but... Between now and then, see if you can guess where I'm going to put that perk point. Okay, I'm going to grab some Magicka. And now I've got a perk to use in any one of these skills. 
see if you can figure out where I'm going to put that. What skill am I going to use that perk point in? Now you may comment after I've already used it, but uh, you know, be honest if you guess it. Okay, we need the uh, we need the hide. We need the leather because we're going to be crafting some armor uh, when we get back here. But we've got to go to Riften first. There's a couple things we need to do there. But first, yes, the overlevel trap. Uh, after you've played the game a few, you know, half a dozen times or so, you start to learn ways of improving certain skills very very quickly and very very easily. Especially with things like alchemy, enchanting, smithing. There are ways to improve those skills very quickly. So what can happen is, uh, you know, you can use those. You can level up those skills very quickly. You can level up your character very quickly. And you're probably thinking, okay, well, that's great. You level up. You get level up points. You get perks. What's the problem? Well, the problem is, oh, here, let's go help the companions deal with this uh, giant. Quick save, just in case they hit a companion. Nice one-handed. Oh well, must have run off. Nice one-handed is already up to twenty-one. All right, come on, get it over with. You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield, brother. All right, what's a shield, brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? No. An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. <laughs> it doesn't sound very honorable. It sounds like you're just a sword for hire, but... Uh, you know, you piqued my interest. Can I join you? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in your Vaskar. I see. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Alrighty then. So as I was saying, the uh, the overlevel trap. If you start working things like alchemy, smithing, enchanting too much too early, you can level your character up very very quickly. The problem with that is the fact that most of your enemies are what's called leveled, meaning their level is based on your level. And usually it's actually, uh, their level is 1.25 times yours. So if you're level 20, they're level 25. They're always going to be a, a few levels ahead of you. So you're going to have your hands full. And the problem there, of course, is that, well, they've got... My Izmir, it's true. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the Loria's farm. Little quest here. Who had a coffin and a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> it's kind of a stupid one, but... All right, where is Carriage Boy? Here you are. I think the graphics are really nice. Yo. Hmm? <laughs> huh? This is a social call, man. No, man, I, I, I need a cab. Where do you want to go? Oh, let's try Riften. Climbing back and we'll be off. Climbing back and we'll be off. This is my little... Carriage driver impersonation. <laughs> All right, down here in Riften. Now, before we head into town, we got to go pick up a little something. But it's not going to be quite so easy because there could be, <laughs> there will be, a hostile guarding it. And we're going to come in from the top here and see if we can't. Uh, maybe get Yo! I hear another one. Where'd he go? Oh, 
Well, I swear I heard a second one, but uh, we'll worry about that one later. Uh, yeah, there. <laughs> I was just, I was just saying, oh, there's going to be a hostile, and we get attacked by a wolf. But that's not the hostile I was talking about. Oh man, the graphics look really nice. I wish I could take credit for some of this, but I absolutely cannot. I simply assembled the pieces. Uh, where is this thing? Oh, it's a spider. Hey, Cat Moran, look, it's another spider. Can I reach him with my flames? Uh oh. Oh, I'm stuck on the edge. I'm going to let the guards do the bulk of the dirty work. Let's see if we can't uh, sling a few arrows. This should be good. And there we go. That's how you hire some help for free. What, is there something else? Oh, there, there's another red dot. I went to, oh, look at that. There's a couple of wolves. Oh. They're coming after me. Come on, help me out, stupid guard. What happened to all my hotkeys? I thought I hotkeyed a bunch of stuff. I have nothing even favorited yet. It's <laughs> such a zero. Okay, let's favorite uh, a dagger and the mace and an imperial sword. See, I don't think there's anything in here I need to favorite. Let's see. No, I want magic. Ah, let's see. Flames. We'll favorite healing. Ancestor's Wrath. Alright. Now, we can hotkey stuff. So let's get a dagger on one. Put the mace on two. Flames on three. Healing on... No, 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 no. Put a healing on three. Flames on four. Ancestor's Wrath. We'll put that on five. Let's see if I can remember any of that. Look at that. He's a learner. Okay, so... What are we doing here? This is the rift. And it's full of bears. Although we won't see any bears yet, I don't think, at this uh, stage of the game. Remember, they're leveled creatures. Just why we're going to be getting things like wolves and spiders and skeevers. What we're after... Money, money, money! Well, not really that, but I'll take it. Amulet of Xenathar. And the Shrine of Xenathar. The Shrine of Xenathar is going to give us a blessing. And the Amulet of Xenathar is going to give us a blessing. Now if we come over to the magic men oh, not the map. Damn it. I can't remember the hotkeys. Um, over here, the magic menu, active effects, we're getting a fortified barter. Uh ten percent from each of these. Uh Blessing of Xenathar, Amulet of Xenathar, and also we're going to go into town. We're going to give a coin to a beggar, which is going to give us the gift of charity. It's going to be another five percent. 
So right there alone, we're going to have 25% better prices. That is why we came all the way down here to sell our junk. But that's only part of the reason. Before I was talking about the overlevel trap, we're going to do a little something about that. See, the overlevel trap is like I was saying, if you start working some skills that, like, for example, I was saying as an example, smithing, alchemy, enchanting, there are other skills. Illusion can be easy to level up just by casting a muffle spell. Um, everybody has figured out ways to improve skills very, very quickly. The problem with that, when you level up very, very, very quickly, is that your opponents leveled up very, very quickly and... Or they level up with you, actually a little bit more. And you can potentially ignore things like your offense and your defense. So you find that as you level up, you start getting your ass kicked more. Because you've not worked on your offense and your defense. So we want to make sure that we work on our offense, being our one-handed skill. And also our defense, which is going to be light armor. Yo. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. Uh, why? For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? Uh, it matters because, um, I'm going to tell everyone in town you paint your toenails. Call it what you want. If you don't pay, then you're not getting in. Huh, that's never worked before. Okay. You want in? You need to cooperate. Well, that's never happened before. Um. Is my speed skill too low? I've never had that happen before. Speech is the speech need to be to twenty? Maybe it does. Okay, well that kind of puts the kibosh on my little plans here. Uh, let me think. What can I do to improve speech very quickly? We may have to go to Windhelm. I still want to unload this junk. Ah, damn you. You're, you're ruining my plans for this episode. You know that, right? Maybe I should just pay him. Let's have try it. decided to pay the visitor's tax? Uh... Don't walk in, huh? Fine. Have a good walk to the next city. I wonder if I can get in the other gate. Uh, let me get in a quick save because I'm gonna try something here. If you decided to pay the visitor's tax, I think you'd be a little smarter than that. <laughs> uh, all right. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Let me open the gate, and you can head into the city. I guess it's because the gate's unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. We want to avoid Maul because we can get a speech skill increase from him too, but not yet because we're skill. too slow. Hey, so we're you just gonna get over here. I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on Fresh time. Fresh meats and produce. Get them before they're gone. Snilf. Sure, sure. I'm a dirty. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Here's off. I can take a hint, lot. You want to make some coin? Come find me. Yeah, I'll come find you. Okay. The main reason I wanted to come here to sell this stuff is, like I said, if we if we see here, we've got fortify barter on these two, and we got fortify persuasion. Speech is increased, which I think increases our uh, prices by five percent. Uh, anyway, we've got some buffs, so we're going to get better prices. Now, I talked before about the overlevel trap, and, you know, you, you level up your character so fast, but you don't focus on your offense, like a weapon skill, one-handed weapons, two-handed weapons, magic, uh, archery, some kind of weapon skill, because you run into enemies and you got to be able to deal with them. Or your defense, which is, you know, your light armor, your heavy armor, or flesh spells, if you don't 
try and pay attention to those, you're going to find yourself getting your, like I said, getting your ass kicked a lot. So we come down here to work on our defense a little. And also to sell items. And as it just so happens, this woman right here is not only a merchant, she is a light armor trainer. So we are going to sell our stuff to her and then use that money to buy some training. Now, um, let's see. I did say I had one perk and where am I going to put it? Where am I going to put that one perk? This is the last chance to take a guess. I'm going to cycle through them. Well, I tried to cycle through all of them. Where do you think I'm going to put the perk point? Okay, enough nonsense. I am going to put this... Wait a minute. I went past it. <laughs> right here in speech. Because... Haggling... It's going to give us another 10% better prices. Yeah, first point went into speech. Didn't see that coming, did you? Hey. Are you going to buy something or just here for training? Otherwise, move on. I'm here for training. Stare all day or buy some armor. I'm going to stare for a while and then get some training. Uh, first of all, just what you see here. We've got to sell some things because I don't have uh, enough. I have 31 gold. I'm not getting very much training with 31 gold. So let's unload as much of this stuff as we can. If my mouse will stop moving around on me. If you can, it's better to sell these things one at a time. I'm going to keep one sword. Am I going to keep one sword? No, I'm not going to keep one sword. I got a steel dagger. I don't really need that one. Alright, we don't need any heavy armor. In fact, I don't really need any of this armor because I'm going to make some stuff, so... There you go. Speech increase. It's not helping me now with the dude at the gate, but that's okay. I'll pick back at that money off him later. <laughs> Not that he's going to have it later, but, you know. Uh, let's see. Do I want to keep these carry capacity pouches? I can make better ones. So, no. Let's take the money. Uh, I don't need that. I'm not going to be using two-handed weapons. Oh, she's out of money. Okay. Let's fix that. Groka, you look a little short on cash. And I need training in light armor. I'll teach you how to use it effectively and keep you quick on your feet. See, the thing about light armor and heavy armor, if you want to improve that skill, you got to get hit. But there's a little side effect. There's a little downside to getting hit. It's called death. I'm not a big fan. So I figure, why not just get the training? If you got the money, spend it. You know, you can't take it with you. Oh, man, that's it. I only have enough for two. All right, let's sell some more stuff. See for yourself. Nope. I am not interested in buying anything you have. Instead, do I want to keep this magic stuff here? I kind of do. Uh, I'm going to keep one ring. Torture's hood. Uh, where did I pick that up? I like the torture's hood. I'm keeping it. So this is it. I, I don't have anything else. Uh, you can have that. I'm keeping those because those are all useful. Keeping those, uh, you can have that one. I already know it. Nice, another spill, skill, spell, bleh. Another skill increase, and now we have another level up. And I think I only have enough money for one more bit of training. You can get five. I'll teach you how to use it effectively and keep you quick on your feet. You can get five skill increases through training per character level. Now, we've got a level up, but I haven't taken a level up, so I'm still on the last one. So I can still get two more, then level up my character, and then get more training. So we're not going to level up right now, because I'll be wasting. I still have two more available, but I don't have any money. Uh, I'll fix that, though. Okay, 
That is it for now. Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Goodness knows I could use. I absolutely will, because you're someone that I'm going to need to Looking visit. Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? She is someone that uh, I want to do a lot of business with. Visiting Riften? All are welcome at the Temple of Mara. Oh, the temple. That's right. We're going to need to go there to start the Book of Love quest. But before we do that, we need to find an Argonian. Welcome to Riften, home of the Thief's Guild. Or so they'd have you believe. It's all lies. They're just thugs. I can't remember her name, but she's usually wandering around out here somewhere. Argonian woman in a blue dress. She might be inside the uh, fishery here. Oh, here you are. Wujita. I really oh. need your help. What's I don't up? want to lose my job at the fishery. What am I going to do? You might lose your job? My job at the Rifton fishery is in danger. No. The owner, Bolly, said that if I show up for work in this condition one more time, then I'm out. Condition? I don't mean to do this to myself, but I can't help it. I tried some skooma a year ago, and ever since then, I can't stop. If you could give me a healing potion, I could cleanse this poison from my body and get back to my life. Why don't you just go buy one? They're dirt cheap. Yeah, here you go. Your kindness will never be forgotten. Here, take this. It's all I can offer you for what you've given me. A silver ring that's worth about 30 or 40 gold for a potion that costs 10 gold. Alright. The reason we want to do that is because now we're friends with the Ripton Fishery. Because she works there. Which means all these barrels that were marked as... Uh, all the items in here would have been marked as stealing. Now we can take them. And the prize is the salt pile. Because this doesn't grow anywhere. You can plant a lot of things, but that is not one of them. And there is a lot of barrels here and a lot of salt pile, so we want to grab as much of this as we can. Because there are some very expensive potions you can make with it. When it and when it comes to potions, river betty is another thing. This is great for poisons. Okay, I'm going to edit some of this out because this, this could take a while. Alright, I think I got everything. Just to give you an ex uh, example, give you an idea of why we do this. 46 salt pile, just from what's here on the docks and on the boat. That's, uh, that's a lot of free salt pile. And there is uh, an alchemical... There's a potion you can make with salt pile and... Uh, well, salt pile and death bell is a slow poison. Poison is slow. And it, it's great because anything that's not undead that gets hit with it will move at half speed. It's hilarious. And if you're going to have to take on a giant, it's a must have. But uh, we also got seven river betty. River betty is interesting because this is, this is useful for uh, poisons. The difference between river betty and other things you can make poisons with is that it has a two and a half times damage health multiplier. So if you use River Betty with uh, Nightshade or uh, Nurnroot or something, Impstool, to create a damage health poison, it'll be two and a half times stronger if River Betty's included. Very, very, very potent. There are plenty of other, uh, plenty of other ingredients to make good poisons with, but if possible, use River Betty because it'll be a lot stronger. In fact, I think it's the strongest thing in the game next to Jar and Root, and there's only one of those in the game that uh, you have to use in a quest. And the only other thing is a Crimson Nurn Root, which only grows in Black Reach, I think. And I don't even know if that one respawns. So, River Betty is the way to go if you're going to be making poisons. So, anyway, we're going to stand here and look at old Flatfoot. Yeah, keep on trucking, man. I think that's what we're going to wrap up this episode. I really wanted to come down here, sell that stuff, get some better prices for it with the Amulet of Zenithar and the Shrine of Zenithar. I have one of those shrines back in Emberwood Bar. So as long as we have the amulet, we can hit that one, uh, especially if we're doing business in Riverwood or Whiterun. 
and I continue to get a good bonus and plus we got the perk in speech now that may seem like uh, oh, I don't want to bring it up right now I don't want to level up yet we've got some more training we can get um, the reason I got that perk wasn't just because oh it's 10% that's not a good reason to, to waste a perk perks are precious they're hard to get um, but there is a perk in a speech tree called merchant perk you need a 50 in speech craft to get that one it's uh, I believe it's a third one up so you invest three perks in there you get the merchant perk which means you can then sell any kind of item to any kind of vendor so right now if I had potions to, to sell I could not sell them to a blacksmith they're not gonna buy them if I had weapons and armor and I went to uh, uh, a mage or a court wizard they're not gonna buy them they don't buy that stuff you get the merchant perk you can sell anything to anybody it's very very powerful uh, so we were gonna need to get that perk anyway anyhow that's gonna do it for now uh, we're gonna make our way back to Whiterun after this and go see uh, what the Yarl has, Yarl has to say uh, so that'll be it thanks for watching take it easy and I will see you in the next hot box box episode. I can't talk. All right. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.